All right, um, so at Karingal Scout Camp, um, thought we'll try damper making today. Uh, nowhere near an expert on damper making. It's probably my second or third go at it. Um, gonna try two recipes out. One's uh, straight out just a bread, uh, savory bread recipe, which hopefully if it works out, I'm gonna use it as a cob loaf and fill it with a whole bunch of uh, cheeses and bacon and all that sort of thing to have later on. Uh, the second one is just a, a sweet um, damper recipe, similar to a traditional damper, which is like a scone base one. You have to excuse the uh, blender going off, the wife is making a smoothie. Um, now this one, I'm gonna rub in butter and flavor it with chocolate and honey and all sorts of stuff so not going to need that one that's just going to be pushed together but anyway when I make them um, and hopefully they turn out you get to see it anyway so two very simple damper recipes I'm just heating up the camp oven to cook this in and uh, we'll see how we go second loaf we're making uh, a little bit more steps to it is um, a sweet damper I thought I'd do this later on but I'll heat it up now so I do two cups it's pretty much all the flour we brought so measuring so this one's different than the original one so I've got butter in this one and honey to sweeten it and chocolate and cocoa and stuff but um the butter adds like a shortening so it breaks up the gluten so it, uh, it make it crumbly. There we go. Yeah, I think this should be enough. So accurate measurements. There we go. Close enough. So two cups of that. So what I'm doing is mixing all dry ingredients. Uh, put some cinnamon in it. See how that goes. Yeah. Cocoa powder. Do, 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 do. Might put two. Cocoa powder. Uh, butter. Scoop away. So forget. Uh, butter. Now we're going to rub this in to, um, to make the shortening out of it. So one. Two tablespoons and a bit. There we go. Don't get the hands dirty. Mix it all in. In the technical terms of this, it's called rubbing and rubbing it in with your fingers. But anyway. Some raisins. We've got it. Raisins in. Um, I think last time I made it, I had frozen blueberries in the in the cooler. So we used um, frozen raspberries, uh, and blueberries. Nice. Steal some of the wife's chocolate. I guess I could grate it if I really wanted to, but no, not too fast. On the scout camp itself, it's not a free camp, normally, you know, we normally hit the free camps, um, but it's, it's a good little escape place to get to, but too far away from where we are in Melbourne, and um, it's got some facilities that uh, all our friends and family, which are good chunk of them are here today so, uh, so putting honey in about two, two 
two tablespoons of honey. Yeah, about that. Close enough. See, it's going to be sticky. Sticky. Um, Alright, and I'm using milk. So, um, to mix it all in. But this time, a bit more. So, I don't want to knead it like I did the first loaf. I just want to wet it. Push it together. Hey, first that. First that. Well, you don't want that. That's your soda water from before. What we're having for dinner. Oh, well, I wanna, I, I make, I wanna make, I make too. Yep. Have, well, where, like I make. Yep, there we go. You can help me make, make it later. Okay, so just combining it, I'm just trying to get the mix wet. but not too wet. Push it, push it together, push it together, like Play-Doh, good work, push, push, squeeze it together, squeeze, squeeze, awesome, alright, oh, Dad finishes it, it smells, good. it smells good, I know, it smells good, okay, so that's, that's it, all sort of pushed together now. <laughs> so I don't like your plate. Yeah, I don't know. So. Okay. Oh, it's okay. maybe a little bit wet. Okay. Okay. No, no, we have to cook it first. That's a cook it and then we make it? Yep, then we can eat it with some butter and stuff. How's that? Yeah, yeah would be good if. So, back in the pizza oven again, a little Dutch oven. Now, I've got a trivet in there, but this is a sweet, a sweet bread, so it's got lots of stuff that can burn. So, we go. Yes. Now, go over 20 minutes again. That in there. So I raised it right up this time. Yeah. Put the loop on. Yes. Temperature gauge is still good. And we'll give that 20 minutes. And make sure the lids are seated properly. And see how we go after that. There's the sweet one. Now I had to put some more fire under it because uh, dealing with these little fire pits and heat beads, if you're not careful, uh, it loses heat very quickly, <laughs> so keep on top of that. Because uh, I'm not doing it at night time, I normally have the fire going. It looks good. Definitely crumbly. Let's see what I put. Mm. That might be us. I won't burn my hand this time. Oh. There we go. So, it's definitely crumbly. But, um, yeah. So that's my sweet loaf. Yeah. So we've got um, the bread that goes in it, Some tasty chips, uh, veggies for the healthy ones, leftover dip, crackers, and just my sweet loaf. And that's what we're having for afternoon tea. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out the places we visited for yourself, there's more information in the description below. Hit the trailer icon to subscribe and here are some more of our camping adventures.